Amitafo, everyone, and welcome to Beyond Kung Fu. Today, we are going to be reviewing some basic Kung Fu stances. Now, stances are the foundation of any martial art. And just like the roots of a tree, if you have strong stances or a strong foundation, you have strong Kung Fu. One thing to remember when you're practicing your stances is that everyone ends up at a different level. So if you notice that you're not going as deep as someone around you, just realize that they're at a different point in their practice. When you are practicing your stances, I would rather, if you do go low, that you not sacrifice your form. And that means if your feet are not pointing in the same direction because you're sitting really low, return back to a more comfortable position where your form returns back to where it should be. So let's get started on our Kung Fu practice. Remember what I've mentioned before, please run through the video and find certain stances that you would like to work on and practice those over a period of time. Once you feel that you have those perfected, then move on to another stance and keep going. And that way you are building a solid foundation to your Kung Fu practice. Thanks everyone and happy practicing. Amitafo. Let's run through cat stances. We have three here at Beyond Kung Fu. The simplest, and the one you'll see most in a lot of our other stances, as a bridge, is side cat. The first thing you do in all of your cat stances is you open your planted foot. The reason you open your planted foot is so you have a wider base, and that just keeps you more stable. And you'll see what I'm talking about when we begin. Hands are up. Now, let's open our foot slightly. We're gonna bring our foot in to side cat. Notice that my foot that I just brought in is halfway between the planted foot and I'm on the ball of my foot and then I bring it back. Hands are up, open your foot, side cat, and back to parallel stance. Hands up, open your foot, side cat, back to parallel stance. As you progress, you can go lower in your stances, like this. move on. Hands are up. Moving on to front cat. Open your foot. Side cat position and front cat. Notice that I'm just putting enough weight on my front foot that I can lift it off the floor. So there you go again with your 90% or in 10 or 99 and 1%. And then back. Starts in the same way. Hands are up, open our foot. This time I want you to pretend you have an imaginary line running out from your foot. You're going to bring your other foot to side cat and you're going to put your pinky toe right on that imaginary line. And then you're going to come back through to parallel stance. Hands are up, open your foot, side cat, place your pinky toe on that imaginary line, and then back. Other side, hands are up, open your foot, side cat, and pinky toe on that imaginary line, and then back. Open the foot, side cat, pinky toe on that imaginary line, and back. Let's review crane stances. We have three here at Beyond Kung Fu. Hands are up. We open our foot. Like our cat stances, we start the same way because we need a wider base. We bring our foot into side cat. We bring our foot out to front cat. And then we bring our foot straight up. And then we put it back down. Front cat, side cat, parallel, feet pointing in the same. Let's 
do that again. Hands are up, open the front foot, side cat, front cat, front crane. Front cat, side cat, parallel stance. Again, hands are up, open the foot, side cat, front cat, front crane. Front cat, side cat, parallel stance. Other side, open the foot, side cat, front cat, front crane. Front cat, side cat, parallel stance. From the side, hands are up, open my planted foot, side cat, front cat, front crane. Notice my foot is pointing down towards the floor, my thigh is horizontal to the floor, or it can be above horizontal. Back to front cat, side cat, and parallel. Again. From the front, one more time. Like you might be a little bit out of balance when you're performing your front cranes. A couple of things that you can do to maintain your balance. We talk about this in class all the time. Making sure you're breathing. Making sure your planted foot is slightly bent. Hands are up so you can use them to stabilize yourself. Then pointing something out in front of you that is stable and not moving around. Focusing yourself. Centering. These are all things that will help you Stay stable in your stance. But again, it takes a little bit of practice. Hands are up. Open your foot slightly and lift your foot like you're putting it on a bench. Your foot is flat. And then bring it back down to parallel stance. Hands are up. Open your foot slightly and lift your foot. Open crane. And bringing it back to parallel stance. Hands are up. Open slightly and lift and flat foot and back. This is also a crane guard, meaning that you can use it to block a kick coming from the side. Other side, open your foot slightly and plant your foot on a bench and back. Open your foot slightly, lift your foot, open your hip like you're putting your foot on a bench. Our last crane stance is cross crane, and it starts similar to all of our other crane stances. Hands are up, open your foot. Again, pretending you have an imaginary line running up from your foot, similar to the cross cat. Bring your foot into side cat, then placing your pinky in cross cat, pinky toe on that imaginary line, and then you lift your leg straight up with your leg crossed in front of you. Back down and back to parallel stance. Hands are up, open your foot, side cat, cross cat, cross crane, and back to parallel. Other side, hands are up, open your foot, pretend that imaginary line again, side cat, cross cat, cross crane, and back to parallel stance. Heel stance. Side cat, out and back. Rotate your feet off to a 45 and sink. And coming back up. Heel stance is one of those stances that is great for moving forward and back. It's a good transition stance when you're in a sparring situation. One foot is off the floor, so it's easy to move forward and back when you're in your sparring. Hands are up. Let's move to our side cat. Out and back nail stance. Rotate your feet slightly off to a 45. 
still facing forward, but notice your body is off to the side. And sink, pulling that front knee out. And back up. Hands are up. Side cat, out and back knee on stance. Rotate your feet slightly and sink. Pull that front knee out. And then back up to parallel stance from the side. Side cat, out and back knee on stance. Rotate your feet and sink. Notice I pulled my front leg out. My back heel is high. And I'm very grounded in this stance. And back up. One more time. Side cat, out and back kneel stance. Rotate your feet and sink. And back up. One more time from the front. Hands are up. Side cat. Out and back knee stance, rotate your feet and sink. Now some people believe that this is a 50-50 stance. I for myself feel like I'm pretty centered over my legs, weight distribution wise. And the other answer you could give is 60-40. Because either way, if you're moving forward, you're going to put more weight on your front leg. Or if you're moving back, you're going to put more weight on that leg as well. I'm coming back to parallel. Let's move on to high back stance. Another one of my favorite stances here at Beyond Kung Fu. Hands are up, side cat, out and back knee on stance. Rotate that back foot to 45 and sink straight down. Notice my front foot is pointing towards the camera. My back foot is pointing up to 45. My front leg is bent. And then coming back up through parallel stance. Hands are up, side cat, out and back kneel stance, rotate your foot and sink. And then coming back up. Other side, hands are up, side cat, out and back kneel stance, rotate your foot and sink. And coming back up. Hands are up, side cat, out and back kneel stance, rotate your foot and sink. And coming back up. From the side, hands are up. Side cat, out and back kneel stance. Rotate your foot. Notice I open my hips and I sink straight down. And coming back up to parallel stance. Again on the side. So let's review one of the easier stances that we have here at Beyond Kung Fu, and that is T-stance. T-stance, we're going to start in parallel stance with our feet shoulder width apart. Again, we're going to put our hands up for balance and protection. All we're going to be doing when we do T-stance is we put all our weight on one foot, bring our foot in, making sure, again, that your shoulder width apart, and you're going to be on your tippy toe, or balancing on the top of your toes, and then back. Hands are up, bring our foot into T-stance, and then back. As you progress through your practice, you can get lower and lower in your T-stances. So they can start looking like this. And then the other side, bring your toe in, balancing on your toe, your big toe, and then sink straight down, and then coming right back up. One more time on that side, hands are up, bring your foot in, on your toe, and then sinking straight down, and then coming right back up, and back to parallel stance. One of the easier stances here at Beyond Kung Fu, but you see the stance quite a bit in some of our towel wear forms. Let's move on to sitting stance, one of my favorite stances. Again, your hands are going to be up for balance and protection. You're going to be hearing uh, that a lot in the video today. 
So hands are up, they can be in a closed position, they can be in an open hand position, or they can be in a guard. Whatever you want to use in your practice for your stances. So for sitting stances, again, we start in parallel stance. Our feet are shoulder width apart. We're going to be bringing one of our feet back, and we're going to be placing our toe behind at an angle and on the ball of our foot. Notice that my knee is behind my other knee. And when I sink, I sink straight down. Notice that my knee is tucked behind my forward leg. And then I come straight back up and then back to parallel stance. Let's do that one again. Hands are up, foot behind on the ball of your foot, and sinking straight down. And then coming back up and then back to parallel stance. Let's try the other side. Hands are up, on the ball of your foot, and sinking straight down. And then back up. Let's do that one again. Hands up, on the ball of the foot. Notice my heel is high, and when I sink, I sink straight down, like I'm leaning my back on the wall. And then come right back up, and then back to parallel stance. So ready? On this side. Let's do alternating sides to see how that looks. Toe behind and sink straight down. And then coming straight back up. Toe behind, sink straight down. Coming straight back up and then coming back to parallel stance. Behind, sink straight down, come up and then back to parallel stance. Let's run through horse stance. Horse stance is a 50-50 weight distribution stance meaning that you have equal weight on your front leg and your back leg. Your feet are going to be pointing in the same direction, and your knees are going to be pulled apart, almost like you have two ropes around your knees pulling them down. And we'll describe that a little bit later. So let's run through this. So we're going to put our hands up, as always, for balance and protection. We're going to move our foot into side path, which we discussed. We're going to bring it out and back to kneel stance. Notice my feet are still in shoulder width position. And as I rotate, I rotate my feet pointing in the same direction, facing forward, and tucking my tailbone under, I sit straight down. And then when you're ready to come back up, you open your foot and bring your foot back to parallel stance. Let's run through that again. Hands are up. Go to side pat, up and back kneel stance, straight back, rotate your feet, and sink. And then open your foot and bring it right back through, bridges to position. Let's look at it from the side. I'll be standing in parallel stance, I bring my foot to side pat, up and back kneel stance, I rotate my feet, notice my feet are pointing in the same direction. And as I sink, I'm looking forward, tuck my tailbone under, and sink straight down. Now look at my knees. My knees are not collapsed in. You want to make sure or pretend that you have ropes tied around your knees and pulling them outward. Now you can go any height in your horse stance, but remember, the lower you practice, the lower you'll be able to go in your towel loop and your practice forms. Coming back up, we open our front foot, Come back through, bridges to position, back to parallel stance. One more time from the side. Side path, up and back kneel stance, rotate your feet and sink. And then coming up, open your foot, coming back through the bridges, back to parallel stance. Just a couple more repetitions from the front. Hands are up, side path, up and back kneel stance, rotate your feet and sink. And coming back up and through to position. Hands are up, side pat, out and back, kneel stance, rotate and sink. And coming back up, back to parallel stance. Bow stance. Bow stance is a 60 40 distribution stance, meaning that you're 60% of your weight on one leg and 40% on the other. Your feet are going to be pointing parallel, similar to the horse stance, so they can be either pointing forward or off to a 45 degree. So, we start with our hands up for balance and protection. Coming into side pat, 
Head and back kneel stance. And open your bow. What I mean by opening your bow is that you place your back heel on the floor with your back leg straight and you pull your front leg out. And that's so your leg doesn't collapse in when you're uh, performing your stances. Or if somebody tries to kick your leg, it doesn't collapse inwards. And then coming back through bridges to parallel stance. Hands are up, side cat, out and back kneel stance and open your bow. And coming back up, one more time, the side. Hands are up, side cat, out and back kneel stance, open your bow. Coming back up, let's do that from the side so you can see the position of the leg and the feet. Side cat, out and back kneel stance, and open your bow. So notice my back heel is forced down into the ground. My back leg is straight, my front leg is bent, with my knee pulled out, almost like I have that rope, pretend rope, pulling it outwards. My feet are pointing forward, but you can also point them off to a 45, as long as they're pointing in the same direction. Coming back up to parallel stance. Side cat, out back kneel stance, and open your bow. And coming back up, let's do a couple more that way. One more from the front. Hands are up. Let's review drop stance. Drop stance in our club, anyways, is considered one of the harder stances because you have to go really low into the stance. Now, at first, when you start practicing, you might have to be a little bit higher in your stance until you gain a little bit more openness in your hips, flexibility in your legs and your ankles, and a little bit more strength in your point of support. So let's start with our hands up for balance and protection. We're going to bring our foot to side cat. Out and back kneel stance. We're going to rotate our feet almost like we're going into horse stance. We can open our back foot a little bit further and Leaning back on the back leg, we drop down to drop stance. And then we come straight back up, back to parallel stance. Hands are up, side cat, up and back kneel stance, rotate your feet, and sink. And coming back up, open your foot, back to parallel stance. From the side, let's review. Side cat, up and back kneel stance, Rotate your feet almost like you're going into horse stance. You can open your foot slightly out to the back, 45. Then you go straight down into drop stance. And then coming back up and back to parallel stance. Hands are up, side cat, out and back. Rotate your feet, open your foot, and sink. And coming back up to parallel stance. Move on to bridge stance. Hands are up, side cat, out and back kneel stance, rotate your front foot forward and seat. Bringing it back up and back through to position, parallel stance. Now when you're rotating your planted forward foot, you need to rotate on your heel, not on your toe. And the reason being is, if I rotate on my heel, notice I keep the distance between my stance. But if I rotate on my toe, I break the distance, which me ends up me not being stable in my stance. So make sure that you're rotating on your heel when you're going into your bridge stance. Let's do that again. Side cat, out and back kneel stance, back foot, heel is high and rotate your front foot and sink. 
then coming back up through to position, parallel stance. Hands are up, side cat, out and back kneel stance, rotate your foot and sink. And coming back up. Hands are up, side cat, out and back kneel stance, rotate your foot. That concludes our stance practice for today. I hope you've enjoyed running through the stances that we practice here at Beyond Kung Fu. Amitabha.